smile upon you is my prayer. I'm Pastor Barry L. Ginyard Jr., pastor of True Covenant Church in Detroit, Michigan. And it was such a nice day outside, I wanted to bring keys to the covenant outside. And I thank you for joining us for Keys to the Covenant. You know, every day a new project gets started, but not all of those projects make it through to completion. I'm sure if you were to look around your house today, you'd see things that you started on and for whatever reason you were unable or unwilling to finish them. Well, I want you to know that you are a project and God is the master architect. But the good news for you today is that God will not leave you incomplete. He's going to finish everything that he started in you. Get your Bibles and turn with me to the book of Philippians. We're going to read six verses out of chapter number one. And I want to explain to you that it shall manifest. Paul and Timothy, servants of Christ Jesus, to all God's holy people in Christ Jesus at Philippi, together with the overseers and deacons, grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God every time I remember you. In all my prayers for all of you, I always pray with joy because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now. Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. Our chosen text today is written by the Apostle Paul. Paul wrote this letter to the Philippians while he was in prison in Rome. And six times in this book, he mentions having joy. Now notice that he says joy as opposed to happiness. I'm glad that he said that because happiness is often contingent upon a person's circumstance or situation, while joy is rooted in our assurance. And it's Paul's intellect that allows him to understand that. So I love Paul because he is an intellectual. But more than that, Paul has a teaching style that is transparent. He leaves no doubt as to what is in his heart. And so let's take a look at this passage a little closer and let's extract our keys to the covenant. The core of this text is verse number six and it's from this verse that we extract all of our keys. Key number one is that your confidence must be in God. In this text, Paul clearly identifies where his confidence rests. It rests in he that hath begun a good work. Listen, it's the job of the enemy to create division and separation between us and God. Listen, the only reason why he's here is to keep you and me out of heaven. The Bible says in St. John chapter 10 verse 10 that the thief cometh not but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I am come that ye might have life and that ye might have it more abundantly. Listen, it's the job of the enemy to take us away from God, and God is trying to reconcile us every day back to him. Listen, the pride that comes up in our lives is what the enemy uses to take our confidence away from God and put it in man. I want you to know that you cannot allow anyone to make you feel confident in yourself. You have to understand that your confidence must be in God because it is he that is able to keep you. Our second key is that God has begun a good work in you. This good work has everything to do with your purpose. Listen, your purpose is twofold. First, you have a general call. This is a call that's been given to every believer that names the name of Christ. We have to build and expand the kingdom of God. And then you have a more specific purpose. Your purpose might be different from mine, but it's one that God will reveal to each of us. And one thing I will tell you about that purpose is that God uses everything that you've been through, all the good, all the bad, all the ups and the downs, to help you to understand your purpose and to give you the strength to fulfill your purpose. Listen, this is the good work that God has begun in you, and you have to recognize what is your purpose in this life. Our final key today is that God will finish what he started in you. 
the good work that God has begun in you as it relates to your purpose, the good work that God has begun in you as it relates to your relationship with him, with your walk with Christ, God will help you complete it. He's not the kind of God that will leave you out to dry. The songwriter said that he didn't bring me this far to leave me. He didn't teach me to swim to let me drown. I want you to know that God did not bring you this far to let you go now. He has begun a good work in you and he's going to fulfill it. Not only is he willing to fulfill it, but he's able. You know, there's a lot of people that are willing, but not able. But God is both willing and able to finish and complete the good work that he's begun in you. I know it might not look like it right now, but God is perfecting you. It might not feel like it right now, but God is creating in you a good work. And he's going to finish it in this day, in this time. He's going to build you up and make you a great nation. He's going to finish what he started in you. In closing, I want you to remember that your confidence must be in God. It can't be in you or in any other man. It has to be in the master. Also, God has begun a good work in you. He's given each of us a purpose, and it's our obligation to understand what it is and fulfill that purpose. Finally, he's going to complete everything that he started in your life. He's not going to leave you incomplete. So until next time, fight the good fight of faith and know that we have been empowered to be God's church and God's people. God bless you.